Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Farming Simulator 2022. We got Big Jake. We're loaded with some metal. We have a lot to do and talk about in this episode. For you guys that don't know, we put in these new shops. However, the metal place, we're still at the sell at the market. We have a lot. This busy month is going to be super busy with harvesting. Uh, and, and a ton of other stuff. I mean planting and oh, we went the wrong way here. I went right through it like an idiot. Let's see what we get. Oh, this is not a great start as you guys can tell. Probably guess. I haven't. Oh, we're going to have a bad go here. There we go. And also, we have some things to talk about. The roller coaster. Yes, the roller coaster which I do believe you can ride, is getting close to being done. We're just missing a couple things, it looks like. Um, so, before we get to that, let's head over to... Here we go. We are over at the... Um, our boat yard. One did go out. If you notice, our money was a little bit up in February. We couldn't really play February. It was covered in snow. And so now, instead of playing snow and making snow angels, you can see we have some more stuff to get. Um, we are out at the sawmill, and we are actually going to take care of that here in a little bit. Let's go to our productions. And you can see the sawmill is out. And we are out, out at the sawmill. So, with that being said, obviously we need more pallets of wood stuff which you think this is what the roller coaster is waiting on but we're waiting on some very very uh interesting materials here chair table shingles barrels and buckets now we could get into making all that but i feel like maybe not for one pallet of each deal so i want to use Something on the map here. There is a place that actually sell these pallets. So I'm going to write all these pallets down that we need. And then we're going to go ahead and run over there. So we are across field one here. And this is where you buy pallets of stuff. However, as you can see, there is... None of them pallets that we need. That is a damper in my plans here, folks. So what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to focus on producing them. We have no choice, so we have to go find the production for them. The roller coaster right now is a super big priority. So let's go ahead and find out where they are with Big Jake. This is actually going to be really a crazy episode. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> we need to buy three factories. I just checked the shingle factory, the barrel factory, and the furniture factory. So here is the barrel factory. Oh, watch our money disappear. It's so rough. <laughs> The furniture factory, which they all are actually really close to each other. I'll make sure I'm by, by getting these right ones here. So this is the shingle factory, which we need. Oh my gosh. Do you guys want to see money escape my grasp? You guys are in for a great episode. And then the other one is right here. So they're actually close by. But I think what we need to do is we're going to have to buy another good forklift because now we're going to have all five productions in town that we're going to have to go furniture factory that we're going to have to go back and forth. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check our new buildings. We don't need bathtubs. Let's turn that off. We do need barrels. We do need buckets. And we're going to need, oh, we're going to have to write down all the stuff we're going to need here. So some of this, ooh, this is going to be rough at best here. Um, let's go ahead. 
We got that. The shingles. So it looks like we need planks long for everything is what we need. And some metal for this one. I do have some spare metal. Mm, so we can do long planks. We don't need our mores, so let's take that off. We just need... Yeah, we just need long planks and grab some metal, it looks like. I'm not sure how much it is, but we got to take care of this today before we do anything else. Uh, yeah, we're just going to need to. Um, which means if we're going to have to, uh, since the sawmill is out, hmm, let's go, so... We got the three productions, and then we're going to grab some planks and metal here in a minute. But let's run over to, while we're here, since we're already spending a lot of money here, guys. We are way up here. It's a very, you can see, we're kind of in the top right of the map here. Hopefully I remember to zoom in for you. And there's this pretty good flat area of land here with a lot of trees. And it's not super expensive. And obviously we have more productions to worry about here. So we're definitely going to have to make sure we have an income of trees before we waste all our money. So let's go ahead and buy this. This is a pretty good chunk of land too. It actually goes back pretty far. So I feel like for the time being, this will give us a big amount of... And obviously, I'm going to have to work on cutting trees down. Um, I think we may do a stream of it or do a little bit off camera. I want to maybe do an episode of it too, uh, just because it's been a little bit. So now uh, we have to go back to that building that has the planks. And since we can't produce them ourselves this month and we really need to get them going, uh, I am going to showcase that place where you can, in fact, buy them. And I do believe everything needed just long planks, right? Let's go ahead and check. Um, where is our productions here? There they are. So long planks is what we're going to need. So let's go pick some up and some metal up here quick. All right, we're back over here. And what we're going to do is I am going to, in fact, buy not a ton. Um... We are going to buy enough to get started, though. So let's buy, I feel like, 20 of these planks will get them factories at least through the month. And yes, that's going to cost us $74,000. Um, but let's go back here and see where they are. But we really do need them planks to start. I don't know how much we have on the roller coaster. It looks like uh, not a whole lot, but... That doesn't mean a whole, I mean, that doesn't mean a whole lot. There might be more businesses we need to do. I can't think there's any more left that we need to do. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring over the semi to this side of the building. And then I will load it up. So that, that forklift we use at the old sawmill is actually a free forklift that's actually here, down here for this task itself. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and load these up, and then we're going to go take them and fill up them factories quick here. I do, in fact, have it all loaded up, so we're going to carefully enter. We don't want to give all of it to one production. There is the barrel factory. And after I do a stack at each one, where is this one here? Oh, it's over here. What I'll do is we'll check and go ahead and see how much. Oh, oh, oh. Let's make sure we don't go too crazy. And then we'll see which one needs the most. And we'll take the last. Oh, we sold it. <laughs> I was not trying to sell that stack when I backed up and turned around. What is that place even? To just stole me for all of what I'm worth. Oh, it's a framing building. <sighs> well, we'll buy it because there's already stuff in there. Friggers. 
<laughs> oh man. I <laughs> Well, good to know. We bought four her productions today. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot that we could do. At least that one's full up. Um darn it. So we waste a little bit there, but it's not the end of the world. We can in fact be okay from this. The good news is while we're spending a lot of money today, uh, we probably, I'm hoping, will make a lot back from this eventually. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping these are good investments and we can keep, hopefully keep these production. Will you quit building? Jeez. All right, let's take a look at them productions now that we built. And let's see that they have enough. So, barrels, boy, they don't have a lot, but they should have enough to get started. For chairs and table, it is 80 to 100 and 50 to 125. We should, in theory, so next month, we got a lot of episodes this month, but next month, we should have the stuff that we do, in fact, need. That is actually really, really cool to see. Now, last episode, we bought this tractor, an 8RT. And I am super excited to announce that we are going to go ahead and use it today. Uh, to end the episode, we, if you know, we have uh, this field over here in which we need to also extend and needs this needs plowing. I have went ahead and named this guy Two Track Ted. I like it. It's pretty cool. This guy is super maneuverable and he's got cool lights. Look at all them lights. But look at this. Look how maneuverable he is. Look at this. Look at that. I can whip donuts in a freaking tractor. Two Ted Two Track Ted is awesome. I'm super pumped. So what we're gonna be doing with him. Man, I don't know how far to do this. This this might be a bad idea, but I'm going to have you guys with. Yeah, I guess we'll do this far. Allow create fields. Oh, and this is... Also, he's got a top speed of 24, so that's pretty cool. we got to make sure we stay straight here. This could be problematic. Alright, we're going to maybe add some grass to the edge of this field when we're done. But for the time being, we're going to have to be super careful. And also remember, we don't actually own a little bit of an area around that house. So we're going to have to go around that house. But two track Ted, pretty freaking powerful here. Um, let's get this lined up. Uh, let's not go into their land. And I think what we're going to do here, guys, is a little bit of a montage here, folks. Well, Two Track Teddy is quite the workhorse. I can't wait to use him in the next episode where we'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.